Hello, greetings, hola, konnichiwa, salutations. My name is Sona, and uh, it's been a while. Uh, <laughs> for people who don't know me, I am the creator of this YouTube channel called Sonabra, and I just post random shit when I feel like it. And um, today's video is going to be another commentary video. I like doing commentary videos because there's not really a lot of effort that kind of goes into it at least for me and this video was gonna be about the infamous pink sauce now unless you're living under a rock which i've kind of been for like a minute the pink sauce is kind of this sauce made by this woman that's called <laughs> chef p even though she's not really a chef she's kind of just like someone who just crammed random ingredients together and said hey this works and wants to make a name out of herself at least that's how i see her kind of late to the party and what i mean by late to the party is i'm not kidding like seriously like three weeks late i'm apologizing for that now i've just been caught up with school and you know Sometimes people have lives instead of looking on the internet a bunch of times. Sorry that sounded really mean, but it's the truth. So I was just watching a couple of videos, and what I mean by that is clearing out my watch later playlist, and I come across this video that I saved. I didn't even know that I saved this, and basically, to make it short and sweet, it's called How the Pink Lady has like a down for some shit and you know i'm not even surprised when i saw that video i was like it's about goddamn time because judging by her sauce and this is coming from my own personalized you know opinion the sauce looks like fucking poison like some witch brewed it in their pot it, it looked like unedible it looked like you put a shit ton of food coloring in it and just hope for the best that it tasted other than like chemicals and shit you guys probably know more than me you know the pink lady got quote unquote bankrupt or some shit because apparently she was and this is a quote unquote this is not true quote unquote scammed by like this company that was actually helping her with that poison of a sauce there's this video flowing around about how she was getting into like this crazy frantic enraged rants on how she was like oh they scammed me or some bullshit like that you know she's seen breaking bottles and shit looking all angry talking about oh they won't win i'm gonna win this is my dream or whatever <laughs> unfortunately i've been trying to find it for a couple of minutes but i can't so if somebody finds it can you please like link it in the comment section and i'll probably pin you uh thank you in advance by the way the reason why i'm calling her pink lady and not pink sauce lady is because i'm tired I'm making this shit at 2 a.m so i'm sorry if that's bothering you but that's just kind of how i'm gonna refer to her and another thing too um sorry for the concept basically that you might hear in this video again i'm tired i'm making this shit at 2 a.m i should refer to the pink lady as this egotistical person because when i'm watching videos about how she speaks about herself and her sauce like i've seen videos of her just like comparing herself to like people like cardi b or beyonce or some shit talking about how her sauce is the best thing ever and how we quote unquote the haters are the people in the wrong i'm comparing call me delusional but yes i'm comparing myself to beyonce if beyonce went dead ass broke would you tell her to get a job no so i really hope that my my story inspires or helps somebody else that is going through something this this ain't inspiring me one bit this whole situation ain't inspiring me one bit because how are you gonna sit here in front of a camera and be like oh i'm flat ass broke oh this company scammed me da -da 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 -da. meanwhile clearly you're the one in the wrong and you refuse to take action or responsibility for your own actions i don't know why i said action i'm sorry like i 
oh my god i'm tired as hell i don't know why i'm doing this and also you have no right to compare yourself to beyonce because last time i checked and if i'm wrong about this i may be living in mars or some shit but last time i checked beyonce isn't creating shit that's a health hazard to some people and i don't see miss queen b making spelling errors or information errors on your own product and you know if you want the proof here it is this is the official information at least the old information for the pink sauce i want to know how the hell you spell vinegar wrong vinger is that like the new avengers that i have never known about i'm sorry that joke was so goddamn terrible <laughs> however i'm gonna give the pink lady a little bit of props for this the infamous dipping sauce that everyone is raving about that's pretty clever considering that you are self-aware at the fact that you know that your sauce is infamous i think knowing that and actually using that marketing is kind of smart in a way because you know that this is going to get people's attention considering it's so infamous but on the opposite side of the coin being infamous isn't really good considering that a lot of people are going to see your sauce and going to try to avoid it as much as possible sure a lot of people were buying it because they were curious at first but now that they know the health hazards and the health risks coming from your sauce they're probably not going to buy it you may be lucky and hit a few sales but those are from people People that are just buying your sauce for clout and even then that's not really gonna pay your bills or financially support your sauce business and even then it will kind of suck to think that your sauce is getting bought only for the only for the purpose of just being used just for a mockery or just for content kind of that's kind of miserable if i'm gonna be for real i would want my product to be at least a little useful or at least have a good rep behind it because trends go by fast and you know the pink sauce trend just dropped drastically i barely hear anybody talking about the pink sauce nowadays and the only reason i'm really talking about it is because well for content i'm kind of supporting what i said previously the only reason people really talk about the pink sauce is either to complain about it or to make videos about it. that's kind of sucky our mission to excite your taste buds with flavor <laughs> that's kind of cute and thrill you with our creativity unfortunately the pink sauce isn't really praised for its creativity not really praised at all in fact the only things i really hear about the pink sauce is how oh it's dangerous for your health or oh don't buy it it tastes nasty the nutrition facts are also wrong i know a lot of people don't really read it but for the pink sauce it's kind of necessary to read it the serving sizes are wrong. That's all I really know about this one. And another thing too, there's a clip showing that this pink lady didn't even know that her selling the sauce was supposed to be FDA approved. I don't even want to sell shit. And even I know that when you're trying to sell shit, you got to go through some form of like verification that it's okay to sell your shit. So you're meaning to tell me is that the pink sauce was getting sold illegally that explains a lot goddamn what do you mean fda approved i don't sell medical products the pink sauce is not a medical product the pink sauce don't contribute to your health i never said that except you don't really need anyone to say it because the ingredients say it itself if you read the ingredients you can see it has raw honey and milk let's start with the obvious milk has to be refrigerated when you're sending out a product that has milk and you don't refrigerate it in a certain amount of days it's gonna get spoiled it's gonna taste nasty and it's gonna be expired you can't expect people to drink expired milk it's nasty as fuck oh my fucking god i meant to say eat something with expired milk i oh my fucking god i'm sorry with the raw honey raw honey is really 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 risky for your health eating raw honey can give you the symptoms of botulism Botulism symptoms include droopy eyes, blurred vision, weak muscles, trouble swallowing, slurred speech, and trouble breathing, and can ultimately result in really bad outcomes such as death. 
the pink lady's never gonna understand that her sauce is hurting people. Or maybe she already understands that, but she doesn't want to feel the burden of having that thing in her consciousness. So her way of coping is deflecting blame on a company or whatever the hell. Honestly, if I was the pink lady, I would have just ended my sauce there. I don't give a fuck if it's my dream. If my dream is hurting people to the extent where it could literally kill them, I would just stop my shit right then and there. There's no point in doing this shit if it's gonna hurt people. Also, if the mic sounds different, I apologize. This is another day that I'm continuing this video. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this video is all over the place. I'm just doing this shit for the fuck of it. Anywho, there's one more thing I actually want to cover. And it's the fact that she says, oh, I'm broke. I can't feed my kids on my own. Blah, blah, blah. Let me just say this right now. I've seen that lady wear so many different types of pink wigs and get her nails all done, get her makeup all done, get her lashes did. That shit takes hundreds of dollars if not thousands to do and you're gonna tell me and everybody else watching your videos oh quote unquote i'm flat ass broke this company scammed me my kids don't got food and shit you're gonna tell me that i'm the type of person that when i see bullshit i call bullshit and right now i'm seeing bullshit so i'm gonna give a harsh ass truth that I think is possible. The pink lady is probably lying about all this shit because she wants people to feel sorry for her because, oh, boo hoo woo me. I fucking created a sauce that everybody fucking hates even though people were supposed to love it and I wasn't responsible. And boo hoo, look at me. I'm struggling with my fucking reputation. And wah, wah. You know what I mean? All this my dream bullshit, all this they scam me bull crap. It's not fucking real. I'm sorry. I had to fucking say it. The story doesn't add up. The puzzle pieces don't fit. The fucking truth is in the pudding. Honestly, if I, like I said, if I was the pink sauce lady, I would just end my fucking career there. And you know what? Maybe her career is forced to stop because I don't see any way you could come back from this. You this the company that landed their hand to you? And now look at you, looking fucking stupid. You're kind of dumb for that shit. Just take responsibility for your own fucking actions. Like, <laughs> stop being an egotistical shit and wanting your dream to be successful that you are so blind to the fact that you're hurting people due to your sauce and nobody wants to buy your stupid ass sauce because you don't know how to fucking be a businesswoman that you claim to be. And you know what? You ain't even a you ain't even a fucking chef either. So, you know, <laughs> you don't really got anything going on for you. And see, I may not know every little crevice, every little thing about this goddamn story, but what I do know is this. You need to take responsibility for your actions. That's all. But hey, I'm just a little I'm just a teenager, bro. <laughs> you don't got to listen to me, but you know it's the decent thing to do as somebody who's making this bullshit you know anyways that's gonna be the end of this video if you like it comment and subscribe it'll help out the channel and you know how youtube just loves to fucking bullshit everyone's youtube channel for no reason so when you watch this just share or some shit comment down below like how you feel about this whole situation i'm gonna be for real i'm just annoyed as hell that a human being could be this ignorant and this selfish anyways um, that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.